I'm living the scrap dream. <laughs> well, I think we're loaded as much as I can. Get it, you know, being here by myself now. by myself so I really actually could use a helper but that's not gonna happen they really did a lot R5 and Gil Skills and his wife helped get rid of that big aluminum mountain that was there that's quite a bit of styrofoam. That's why the load was rejected like, what, seven months ago? And I brought it here and I put it in this tight space so it wouldn't blow around all over. There's still plenty of stuff left back here. It's all got to go. There's a couple of pickup truck loads right here all in itself, just in this one spot. That's three of them, plus me and my daughter, working all day, so that was like five people. Working for about 10 hours straight. So five people working 10 hours straight. Oh, and I'm not disparaging them at all. And look at the place. It doesn't even look touched. <laughs> King, that's disrespectful. No, 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 no. Let's straighten this out right now. It's not meant to be. The enormity of the situation, that's what I'm trying to explain. You got a lot of commenters with great ideas and stuff like that. You should just have them come there and sort everything. Yeah, that would help. That's a good idea, that's one way of doing it. But... There was a... A little, a little hiccup in renting the U-Haul. And, uh, yeah. We did get quite a bit of this mountain gone, though. At least, like, we carved a hole into this section here. And, you know, all that remains, obviously. But, uh, hey, it's somewhere. It's a little bit of progress. I actually can... I have a little pathway going to that trailer there. I got some wheels, I got radiators. There's a whole lot more scrap, but we didn't even touch it inside the warehouse. So I'm claiming little by little. Because I want to empty out this, this yard space here. I want to empty out the warehouse. But primarily, yeah, primarily I'd like to get this all cleared. I mean, <laughs> it actually looks worse than it did the other day. You're really ignorant, King! No, it's just that everything is in like a jumble now. And needs to be picked up. There's just not enough. It would take, like I said, 10 people working straight for two weeks at 10 hours a day to get this place in reasonable shape. Not perfect. Perfect, it would take about a month. A month of 10 people working 10 hour days. Well, then you'll never get there, King. I'll have to figure it out somehow. A 
I mean, uh, we're only human, right? We're not machines, but by God, those guys work like machines. Gil Skills, his wife, and uh, Crystal from R5 Adventures. She took this uh, putty knife. It was a large one. Where is it at? I think it is this one right here. And Bob from Gill Skills had a, a small, like, digging shovel. She was using this to shuck the, the styrofoam off the aluminum siding. If it wasn't for them coming here, that would have been here until October when things slow down. Scrapping wise. But me, I have to make it to the scrapyard with this 26 foot Ford 650, which I think is one number lower, you know, on the gradation of the Ford. Like that's a Ford F-150, that's a 650. That yellow truck right there is a Ford 750. This, this I believe, has got the smaller tires, like the 20 inch. Mine's got the 22 and a halfs. I have the semi truck tires, like that. And the moving van. That's the dream to get those things running. Otherwise, we would never need these. This is a time factor on these. You know, it has to be loaded and has to be unloaded. Like, all right, loaded, unloaded, enough of that. Explaining, re explaining, and then explaining again. It's more about just getting, getting the material and moving it and using a U Haul out of sheer desperation of the moment. Well, if you hadn't collected it, and piled it up. Well, that was done for a multitude of reasons. <clears throat> None of which I care to explain any longer. <laughs> Just watch the channel if you want. Let's see. How do you turn the show off there? I just hope I can uh, make a couple of barks off of this stuff. Ooh, wow. That, that bump is like ridiculous. We've had a little bit of rain. Not much. It was calling for a downpour, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. So it's off to the scrapyard with this, thanks to Cruiser Mac and our Gill Skills for donating to the cause of renting this vehicle. Helping me out in some very uh, uniquely dire times. See you in the next video. And we are here at the scrapyard, unloading the huge pile of aluminum with Bob from Gill Skills while I just sit back and watch him do all the work. Yeah, it's starting to feel like a state job. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, right? Javelin! This is another uh, Tom Sawyer moment for me. Hey, Marty. Hello. What did it weigh? What did it pay, good sir? Well, Look at that. It's already wrinkled up. I've only had it uh, $968. Oh, just shy of a grand? Wh yeah. What would they give you for per pound? It's 40 cents a pound. <coughs> so dusty here, I went across. Yeah. Uh, 2420 was uh, the weight, 2,400. Yeah. So uh, one and a quarter ton. I, don't know. I think that was worth the money we paid for the rental. 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, what do you think, Cruiser Mac? Leave a leave a comment. I'll, I'll show the amount like that on there. Huh? Thank you, Cruiser Mac. Oh yeah, definitely. Really appreciate I mean, it. You played a critical role in this endeavor, even though, given the fact that notwithstanding Mother Nature decided to make a tornado and right. you could film the tree trucks. I think they're still there cutting down more trees. But Yeah, I'll be more conspicuous once we leave. <laughs> oh yeah, no, right here you can film away. You can raise the can. Yeah. So this, there's a lot of piles and stuff around here, guys. Yeah. They get a lot of scrap it's at this year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So there you have it, guys. I mean, holy crap! So, 980 bucks, uh, just over two tons. It was like 2,400 pounds. Uh, it's, uh, one and a quarter ton. One and a quarter ton. Two thousand. Did I say two tons? Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. I meant <laughs> one and a quarter ton. It was just over a ton. Uh, we I was hoping it would be at least a ton, and that of course, oh, a little bit more. It, it, it turned out to be <clears throat> pretty good. So. Roughly the weight of. Uh, uh, a smart car and uh, two Honda motorcycles. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if that, if yep. that makes a, a visual for you. Yeah. So yeah, see, they still got a tree trimmer truck there, and they look. See the power lines and stuff like that. Oh yeah. They're cutting away. They're doing. Oh, yeah. a little, they're doing a little preventive maintenance. Tree expert. Yep, they sure are. For next mm -hmm. time, make a nice little path to that to that tower. To that uh, telephone pole. Sorry. Oh yeah, they were they were down there though too because oh. apparently the power lines were knocked down uh, over there too. So. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go for now. And as I always say, have a scrap happy day. And what do you always say? Uh, steal is the meal. But steal you know. is the meal. And ew, you. I no. can't do it like you. Dude, you, you gotta, gotta do it right. You just go like this. You. You. Uh, close enough. Have a good day, guys. <laughs>